Hi, everybody. Listen, today I want to talk about something that's really on the frontier of my own learning. And that is something I've heard this phrase before, but it's called the witness state. And there's something about, I'm just going to say it, to be so deep within, to be so deep within myself, that I'm actually witnessing myself living my human life, where I'm identifying with my essence and not the transitory things. I know this is so difficult to talk about, but it just means that it is like focusing on the big picture in the midst of the immediate moment, like actually knowing the immensity of what's currently happening, even though I'm just doing my mundane things. Because nothing is unimportant. Nothing is unimportant. Everything has a significance to it. And I want to bring that depth to my life. You know, when do I want it? I want it now. <laughs> Isn't that some chant from the 60s? When do we want it? We want it now. Protest chant. And it's it's true. I'm so easily distracted and get into the minutia of my experience. And I really do focus on, a lot on the things I need to get done. Those are important to me. I want to get things done. But ultimately, if if I knew for sure that these were my last moments on the planet or my last hours or days, I would still want to get things done. But I think my focus would be different. It would be on what's important. It would be on have I lived a proper life? And I get to ask myself that in the present tense. Am I living my life with the proper focus? And I really want that. I really want to have a proper focus. I want to focus on what's important. And I know I can do that. That's available to me. And it adds a certain element of required intimacy the opportunity for deeper intimacy with everybody that I'm with, and especially the people that I have and feel a, a connection with that I want that with anyway. Okay, listen, I'm just going to keep this simple. The witness state, it's available to me. And I just remember, what was the guy's name who wrote the book? He wrote the book Hallucinations, and he wrote the book The Man Who Thought His wife was a hat or something like that. Oh man, his name is on the tip of my tongue. But he was sick with something. And before he died, he he wrote his own eulogy, I guess you could say. And he just said how grateful he was to have a human experience. And I really resonated with that. And clearly, he was in that witness state to be able to make a statement like that. And just so lovely. And then one other tiny reference that I think of, I forget who it was. It was either Tom Sawyer or Huckleberry Finn who attends his own funeral. Um, you know, he's just this mischievous, rowdy kid who somehow is mistakenly deceased and uh, goes to his own funeral. And there was just something about that. There was just something really cool about it. And he, Mark Twain wrote about it in a really down-home terms but also the significance of that kind of perspective. That also is the witness state. Okay, that's all. Keep it simple. Love you.